Hello and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we are going to be using Grenadiers and Medics to take on Imitation Game. And I am super excited for this weekend. I actually have it off, so hopefully some good stuff will come. And, you know, the usual. So we're going to throw down Grenadiers and Medics on this. I do have the boosted tribe for Gumboat Energy and then a couple boosted. Um, The reason I, I wanted to do this was, um, you know... It's not really the best reason why I wanted to do a strategy. It's kind of a little bit different. And we're going to switch out for Spark, obviously. Uh, that, that's what works the best with Grenadiers. But the the unfortunate reason that I did Grenadiers is because I was in school today. And, you know, I was thinking. I was thinking. And um, yesterday I saw a video on the internet of Donald Trump in Puerto Rico shooting... Paper, why can't I... Uh, what was that? Um, I, I saw him shooting paper towels into a crowd of people in Puerto Rico. And I was like, wow. For some reason, like, this reminds me of Grenadiers in Boom Beach. HQ says take out that machine gun. <gasps> it was, it was kind of funny, actually. Like... I don't know if he was just sick of uh, hurricane relief because it was his third hurricane in like two months. I, but I don't know. Y y you don't know with him, but he was probably just trying to have fun. I saw a couple memes on the internet about it. Like, uh, I saw a meme that was like hurricane hoops or something, 2017. It was kind of a joke. Uh, stage two here should be able to take it out, which is energy. We're just going to run through the motions, though. Oh my gosh. Kind of kind of have a crazy story here uh so we were running today and you know the usual and all of a sudden uh, you know we're we're like a few miles in we have like four to go or something and uh we see the clouds are turning a little bit darker and this wasn't like a route where you can just like turn back and it'll be shorter mileage like it was a it was a path route so like you you were like maximum distance away from school at that point uh where we started running and um we we had about three and a half miles to go and all of a sudden we feel a lit or no 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 we didn't feel this till later but what happened was we hear this huge burst of thunder behind us and my running partner uh, didn't say anything the first time. Second time I was like, wow, it's thundering. And he was like, what? I, I thought that was my stomach, actually. I was like, oh, wow. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, it, it's like the storm is approaching. And usually in our town, what will happen is we'll get, like, storms going, but they'll just go north or it'll dissipate, uh, like, right before it gets to our town because we're right on the Mississippi border. And... <clears throat> Um, it'll usually either like weaken and dissipate or it'll just completely miss us now That doesn't mean we're like immune to storms obviously, but it means That there's a good chance that it's gonna just like not be a big deal. So we just keep going not thinking anything of it and Five a little under five miles in we we start to feel sprinkles and my running partner, you know, he, he was thinking, he was like, all right, whatever, it's just sprinkling. It seems to be getting a little bit lighter. But knowing me, you know, I, I'm like, I'm a smarter, I'm a smarter one. Um, just kidding, like, not not really. But uh, I, I was just like, okay, what usually happens is it'll start to sprinkle, and then out of nowhere it'll start downpouring. So I'm like expecting this, so I'm like, all right, um, it's starting to like, just get super, super sketchy out. Uh, you know, like the wind's picking up a little bit. You get that feeling like right before it's about to rain or storm or something. The like air pressure difference or something. I don't know. I, I ain't no meteorologist. Uh, but there, there's some, there's some pretty good signs. And all of a sudden, like we, we see this huge lightning strike and then another one. And this is like, it, it wasn't like super close. Like it was probably like, we were just like, wow, that's very close. We got to get going. It was like the fastest, like way back I've ever ran. Uh, it, it's pretty sketchy, but it just started downpouring lightning strike. That was like the most active I've seen the lightning in our town in the longest time. Like it was super everywhere. There was lightning strikes. It wasn't flashing that much. Usually what will happen is it'll just flash among uh, the clouds 
and you know it, it's no big deal but there there were strikes left and right all over town felt like we were just it, it was so sketchy and we got soaked got back you could bring out our socks couldn't see anything because of my glasses it was like the us uh, uh no yeah it was the second one no i'd say, I'd say. I, i've ran through the rain before not storm but that was like the sketchiest thing ever i was like it's one of those where, like, you don't think you're gonna die, but it's, like, the idea of getting struck by lightning is, like, inflated because you're out unprotected. It, it was, it, I won't lie, like, whenever we heard, like, a huge burst of thunder, like, the next, like, two, two, two yards, uh, 20 to, like, 50 yards were just, like, full out, like, just, well, you can't really sprint after, like, doing six miles, but, like, you know, you just increase the pace. That was, like, the best I've ever felt. Like, if I if I raced on a day where, of, where it was, like, storming, let, let me say, that would be, like, the best race ever because the adrenaline is pumping. You just want to get in. You you just want to be done with the run. And that, that kind of rhymes, actually. It, it was it was pretty... It was pretty intense. I... I like, it, it was... I, I, I really wanted... Okay, so here's the option. So we could either do, like, six, seven, or eight and a half. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to go seven today. And once you pass the seven mark, it's like you you can't really cut it short. We, we cut a little bit off. I guess it was, like, eight and a quarter that we did, like, in total. But it there by the point we realized it was going to storm, there was, like, nothing that we could do to, like, shorten it. Like, just, like, run back, take shelter maybe. But we, we decided to do the eight and a half route, you know, and I, I should have been smarter. I, sh I should have only went seven. I, I was thinking about it in the back of my head, but I, I won't lie. I, I didn't really care. I, I kind of wanted to get rained on. But the thing is, running two miles in pouring rain is not fun. I was expecting maybe like, I don't know, maybe running in it for like 10 minutes. But it was well over 20 minutes of running in at least a light rainfall. And you, you can't really do anything about it. I mean, yes, you could check the weather before, like, coach, you know that it, it's going to rain, coach. It's it's going to be, like, the biggest storm in in October here. But, you know, but I, I was making a joke, like, the whole time. It's like cross-country, rain or shine, and then expletive. And, you know, it, it was supposed to be funny. And... I don't know, like, <laughs> all the other sports teams were canceled as soon as it starts raining, and if you're out on a route, you can't really just, like, hop into a, like, restaurant or something and be like, yo, can we, can we camp here? Because there's a little bit of a problem, like, it's kind of a disturbance, because I don't think a business necessarily wants to take in, like, three to ten shirtless guys for a wet, wet shirtless guys, keep in mind, like, that... I bet they would have, but it's just kind of like, wow, this is very awkward. Uh, they they would understand the situation, but it's like, yeah, I would rather just take the chance of getting struck by lightning than just, you know. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Hopefully, hopefully that story. I I haven't really been saying anything about this. Uh, I just wanted to do something quick, uh, easy fun grenadiers i actually thought there was a tribe of grenadiers and i got like kind of bummed that there wasn't I, I think that was the last time so what i did instead was i kind of i kind of tilted a bit so you know what i did smart move especially since i don't have an ice base smart move i boosted the machine gun damage and machine gun health fully now i'm at like a hundred a hundred stored up like crystals and it's super super sad because just I, I i don't have it. it it's it's gone it's gone but i i hope you guys did enjoy this video the only it's kind of a dumb reason to just want to do grenadiers but watching that trump video like it, it was it, it kind of made my day like as much as it's kind of like he he was shooting paper towels into a crowd of people who were like just overcome by a disaster i feel bad for yelling at it but it's <sighs> Trump does what Trump wants, and... Ooh, you guys see my log? Oh, yeah, that, that's what happens when you don't log on for, like, uh, a day and a half. And unfortunately, that did happen. 
I, I would say I'm busy, but I just didn't really want to log on to Boom Beach. I'm kind of... I, I don't want to say this is sick of game, but I'm kind of disappointed that we have been left to dry for the last couple months. Screw you, Brawl Stars. I hope you get tanked. Just kidding. Uh, that'd be cool if Chris and I got into the Brawl Stars bandwagon. But now we have... We have all but one of our tribes fully boosted. I don't know why, but thank you guys for watching this Boom Beach video. Please drop a like if you did enjoy. Make sure you guys subscribe for daily Boom Beach content. Bye-bye.